Welcome to my Canon 60D camera repair manual series. First, I should say that I'm not a service technician of any kind. I'm just someone that's taken hundreds of thousands of pictures with multiple Canon 60Ds and through the years and cameras, I've learned a few things about repairing them. I certainly don't know everything there is to know about working on these cameras though, but I'll show you the things that I do know. This first video will show you how to open up a 60D so that you can work on it. After this one, I'll make additional videos showing how to work on the many parts of this camera. So let's get started. The first thing I found when I opened up my first 60D was that no matter how great I thought my memory was going to be, I just couldn't remember where each and every screw went. There are various lengths, diameters, thread types, and colors. So after wasting a lot of time trying to figure out which screw went where, I came up with a real simple solution. I drew diagrams of the different parts to the camera and I included the locations of each screw. The diagrams can be used to keep track of all the screws as they're removed from the camera by placing them directly on the diagram. That way you'll know exactly where each screw goes when you put the camera back together. I've uploaded the diagrams to my website so you can download them and print them out when you want to work on your 60D. This diagram is used for the outer parts to the camera that I'll be working on in this video. The best way to use the diagrams are to place a piece of double-sided tape right over the top of each yellow screw head that's on the diagram. Then, when you remove a screw from the camera, place it right on the yellow screw head that's in the correct place on the diagram. Place it with the screw head end down so that there's more area for the tape to stick to. That way if you bump or move the diagram, the screws will stay in place. To remove the screws from the camera, you'll need a 4 aught Phillips head screwdriver. Plus, you'll need one small flat tip screwdriver. Okay, the first thing to do, if you haven't done it already, is to remove the SD card and remove the battery. The first part you can remove is the battery door. Just hold the door at about a 45 degree angle from the camera and then pull out it'll come right out. Next we'll remove the outer piece to the viewfinder right here. Just push up from the bottom and it'll come off. Now we'll have to remove uh, two of the grip areas. This section here and then also this section. To remove them Take a small screwdriver and pry up on the edge until you can grab it. Then you can peel it off. We'll start with the screws on the bottom of the camera. There's six screws all together. There's five across here and then one down here. Now we'll take the screws out from the end that has the audio video uh, connectors on it. Once you've got the screws out, just take a small screwdriver 
and just lift up on the edge of that cover. And then when you pick up on it, you might have to slide it to the side just a little bit because this piece right here will be catching down inside. So just slide it over. There you go. Just like that. Now we'll go to the other end of the camera and there's four screws down here. And as you can see, I've been putting the screws right on the diagram as I take them out. Now we'll take out these three screws right here and also the screw from the focus dial for the eyepiece. Now we'll move around to the front of the camera where there's four screws to take out. One, two, three, and four. Okay, on the back, underneath the LCD display, there will be three screws. One here, and then these two smaller screws right here. Now with those two screws out, you should be able to lift this piece right off. Now we should be able to lift the entire back cover off. Just start by taking a small screwdriver and putting it right on the edge here and just lift just a little bit. Once it starts to come up, that's all you need. Now you may need to adjust the LCD screen just slightly as you lift it off. And be careful when you pick it up because there's a flat ribbon cable connected right here. Just lift up on the edge of this connector and it'll come off. Okay, now to get the front part off, just take a screwdriver and slide it underneath this section right where the screw for the tripod mount is. All you need to do is just to get it up high enough so it goes over the top of that. And then that should lift right off. You may need to take this protective cover off when you do it. Okay, to get the last piece off, which is the entire top here, there's three screws. One on the end right here that needs to come out. Another one that's on the other end, right down in here. And the last screw will be back up on top and right here. Now before we can lift this top unit off, there's a couple things we have to do. First we need to disconnect this flat ribbon cable right here. Just put a screwdriver underneath the edge and lift up lightly. Then we need to go down on this end on the bottom 
and we'll need to disconnect these two cables. Just pull them, they come right out. And then part way up this cable you'll find another connector, a really small one right here. Just lift on it lightly, shouldn't take much. Now there's a small fiber optic cable that comes down through and you can see the white connector right here. All you have to do is put a screwdriver on the right side of it and just push it to the left. It doesn't take much. It comes right out. Now when you lift this unit off, be careful because you'll have to feed this fiber optic cable up through this groove right here. But the unit should come off right now. So that's every piece that we need to take off to get to the inside of the camera. We, now we have access to everything on here as far as the circuit boards go. Plus I've taken all the screws and I've put them on the correct screw on the diagram and now I know exactly where every screw goes when I put it back together.